Welcome to a new series. Here we go. We are in the UK. Actually, before I say that, um, I believe we are in the UK. <laughs> we are at Maple Farms. And we are here to take over a working farm. How are you guys doing today? Uh, this should be a really interesting series. A little bit different. There's a dog out there. Um, this is a little bit of a different start than what we normally do. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I have to get used to driving on the other side of the road, I guess. With the... Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this. I've had this vehicle before somewhere. Uh, yeah. I'm excited about this. It's going to be different for a lot of reasons. Let's get out. Close the garage door. Okay, let's have a little walk around and see what's going on. Uh, I think I have a dog. Let's see if the dog goes up. Oh, here's a tennis ball. Put that so we don't run it over. Okay, well, apparently it's... Uh... Oh, there we go. Hi, pup. We shall call you... Uh... Dog. Yeah, that'll be it. All right. Um, so we have... The standard chicken coop. Standard meaning, you know, there always seems to be a chicken coop around. <laughs> it's just so easy to take care of. We have a couple of uh, pretty large cow barns. And uh, if I understand, if I understand correctly or remember correctly, I had looked at this map quite a while back, but the capacity on these is very high for the number of cows. So uh, there's been some changes over time with this map. And we now have a bale and pallet storage um, up to 500. So that's a, that's a good number. I can work with that. And what else do we have here? We got a manure heap. We have lovely Massey Ferguson, small guy. What is that? A 5S? 145 horsepower, I believe. We've got a fuel tank. What else do we have? We have a uh, large grain storage. Oh boy. 12 million liters. Okay, that's that's significant. We got a couple of, I guess these can be used for like root crops or something. We have another car bar cow barn. And that is um, another big one, I think. So. We're going big on cows. Uh, these guys have the feeding robots, which are pretty awesome. We'll get into that. Oh, equipment. Uh, bale loader, trailer. We have a uh, lovely little harvester. And I say little. Um, it's great for some maps, but it might be a little small for this one. We'll have to see. Mower and uh, windrower. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, roller, uh, seed, um, seed tank, I guess, to add more seed, header, and a Voltra Vomet 8750, and we have, uh, oh, where's my mirror? There we go. Um, we've got a silage pit, big one, pretty big. Low loader. We've got a, ugh, okay, yeah, horse part. <laughs> I'm not crazy about horses at FS22, but that's all right. Uh, what's this here? This is for, I don't know what this is for. Refill silo. Oh, I can put seed in there. Wow, look at that. What else can I put in here? Oh. Half a million liters. Okay, well, I don't have that kind of money. 
So uh, I don't have much money at all, as a matter of fact. So we've got 33,000 and we could do something with uh, for now, but we've got a lovely sheep pen. I think it's sheep. I believe it's sheep. Why is that showing up? There it is. Okay, sorry. My bad. All right, sheep pen. Um, we've got a fertilizer spreader. Another fertilizer spreader. So I guess it would be lime and fertilizer and then a cultivator, a subsoiler. What else we got? Lots of stuff. Nice vent. Uh, 314, very well. And a cedar and a, uh, yeah. Yes, quick bail. Very nice. So basically, you know, right up front, uh, we uh, started this with New Farmer. I did make a couple of changes. As you can tell, quick bail is not standard. Um, I, I switched that in because I want it. As well as a, a bail trailer, good bail trailer for it. I did change the starter vehicle um, for a British type vehicle. Um, you know, with the left-handed, uh, the sorry, the right-handed steering. So, yeah, here we go. Here we go, guys. New series. Um, I wanted to do, I want to explain why I picked this map. Uh, first of all, I did not uh, start with this choice for this series. Um, I started with another map, and I actually had some bugs come up and problems. I recorded a few episodes, um to get going and um, everything was just falling apart so I ditched it but um, now that we're here uh, this actually might be a better choice and the goal is here I want to focus on animals um, I've done so many well I've done so many I haven't done that many um, but I've done series where I start with animals and I don't pay attention to them and um, I end up focusing on you know um, herbal farming or um, even forestry or whatever but I don't pay enough attention to the animals and I really want to build a, a good cattle farm uh, we're probably going to get going with a huge dairy set up as well as a well sorry no, we're not going to get going with it we're going to work towards it um, but also beef cattle so there were a few choices of maps um, you know I could have gone to Balham Balm Road. Uh, quite a few people have done that. It's a great map. Fantastic. I uh, highly recommend it. I decided to go back in time a little bit because this one's been around for a while. So, so here we go, guys. Uh, rule set. Let's do that again. We always do that. All right. Um, time will change. We, uh, don't pay attention to that. Um, economic difficulty will be set to sorry for those of you who watch this for the first time watch my my um channel for the first time i change this all the time um so you know i will adjust it as needed um yeah um economic difficulty will be easy traffic will be on uh no seasonal growth uh one day per month uh, crop discretion is off plowing is on uh, field stone is off lime is required and weeds are on uh, no automatic start, and we will have to f take care of all this ourselves, with the exception of slurry and manure. Um, slurry will alternate. There's two barns that, that do slurry, um, and there are two manure extensions, uh, heap extensions, and we'll go back and forth between them as needed. Um, we should be able to do this properly. Um, you know, it's it's hard to generate enough, but these barns are huge uh, and they take a, a lot of cows. So I, I think we're going to have more than we know what to do with. So that that that's going to work out. And of course, I always do this. Um, yeah, don't like dealing with those costs. That's not a fun part of the game for me. So I just set it to as low as possible. All right, guys, map. Let's start at looking at the map. Uh, we have, we start with quite a few fields. I was actually a little bit surprised when I saw this. Um, we have, we start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fields. Uh, some of them are 
Uh, this is for animals, this is for animals, this is for animals. So we may not actually go in there and mow the grass. Uh, we'll just let them um, snack in there. Uh, really our working fields are going to be these five up here and this one down here. So um, that will be our approach. Horse stuff, I don't know. I might just ignore it completely. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a, some horses. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Maple. Maple farms. I don't even know where to start. Um, I guess probably the best bet would be to see if there's something that's ready to harvest. So let's have a look at that. Now, of course, grass is going to be ready. Oh, I actually have quite a bit that's ready to harvest. So, oh boy, we're going to be busy right off the bat. And I don't have a huge harvester either. So uh, these two fields here are, they are wheat. And so is this one, apparently. So we're going to generate uh, um, food for our chickens, as well as uh, quite a bit of straw um, that we can use to for the cows. So the... Prime, I want to say the primary focus will be cows. Um, you know, we, we'll bring in some sheep and maybe horses and maybe chickens because they're so easy to deal with. But it's all going to be about the cows. So. All right, let's get going. Uh, well, where's our harvester? I have to remember where everything is now. It's uh, a little confusing uh, at first where... where all the sheds. There's quite a few sheds on here, so. Alright, shall we start with... Let's head down. We'll start with this field down here. Now, I was thinking of setting the uh, currency uh, value to um, pounds. And the um, problem is, is that if you change it, that's one, that's a global setting. So if I change it, uh, do I know where I'm going? I think I do. Uh, if I change it, um, it'll change for all of my game saves. And I don't want that for certain game saves, so I think we're just gonna have to suck it up and uh, pretend like it's pounds. All right, disconnect that. Watch out, tree! Oh boy, we're off to a great start. We're already stuck, guys. We're already stuck. How did I? How did I end up doing that? Okay. Wow, that's a bad choice. What, what was I thinking? Okay, let's see if we can wiggle our way in here. This will be something that uh, I'm not used to. Tight, tight fields. Not so much tight fields as tight roadways and hedges and fences and all kinds of stuff. Alright, uh, we will be using course play on this map. We'll use it heavily, as a matter of fact, right from the start. So, let's go. And we will do two headlands and we'll make them sharp. Alright. I change this to up here. I should change it back. It's kind of kind of used to seeing it here. Where's waypoint? Off we go. And we have our swath. Nice. All right. So, um, those who know this map uh, know that uh, you usually start. They actually have a wheel loader that you start with, and I didn't want to start with that, so I didn't do it. Oh, what's that? I missed that before. Liquid fertilizer. Oh, boy. I'll have to get those tanks filled up at some point. 
Uh, I am looking for, and I say looking for because I am actually looking for it. Uh, I need my windrower. So we'll try to get that to merge up the lay the uh, the swaths a bit. That's a really bad idea to put that there. Okay, that's going to be a while still, so I'm going to line up. I'm going to line... Oh, that's going to be in the way, so... Ugh, so tight. Um, we got that ready. We will need also to get our trailer. Our trailer is over here. Okay, I believe this is our most powerful tractor. We have three of them, which should be more than enough for now. Um, I'm not sure if we have one that's powerful enough though. I believe this is 190 horsepower, and this trailer is pretty big, so when it's full it might be challenging. Hopefully nobody needs to come up the road right now. I'm just going to wait for him, for him to get out of the way, and then I'm just going to move this over to the side a bit. Actually, why don't we do this? Let's put it over here for now. This is what we're going to need first. I believe I'm going to have to go around the other side. Unload. Maybe we'll just do it right away. Ooh, I'm a little worried about the height of this trailer. That ah, will be okay. Or not. Okay, I better better let them finish. I need to change some settings on the harvester. We're gonna go in here and um That's not what I want. This is what I want. I don't care about fruit. I don't want it folded at the end and stop and I don't think I'm going to turn that on right now. Okay. There we go. Alright, I forget which direction uh, all the up and down rows are going to be. Okay, so we definitely will have to move some equipment around. I, now that I think of it, I don't really need... don't really need this here quite yet. I'm going to go move it over somewhere where I know I won't get into trouble. But, 
you guys know that I will get into trouble, right? Oh well. Oops. Uh, oh right, the posts. Yeah, those can be removed. I don't know if I will. We'll see. Here we're probably going to try to merge a field or two. Okay, while well, we're waiting for our workers, let's let's get some chickens. We'll have food for them in a minute. And how many can... Oh, 600. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Okay. Um, wow. We're in the big leagues. 600. That's going to be a lot of eggs. Um, okay. Let's start with 60. We'll let them reproduce. I'm not going to uh, buy 600. And they can't reproduce without a rooster. Normally the ratio for roosters to chickens is probably in the neighborhood of one to one to eight, I guess. One rooster to eight chickens. Maybe ten. Depends. Depends. Depends on how manly that rooster is. Um <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have too many roosters, then you have enough with all kinds of problems. And uh, if you have too many hens, then uh, well, some hens are not being satisfied. So, you know, they might start a rebellion. You never know. Anywho. Okay, so we got our chickens. We're going to have food for them shortly. They're out in the yard here. So they got a nice big yard. That's good. Very good. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll go deliver some wheat to the chickens right away. And while we're waiting. I think the first order of the day will be to... Um, well, I want to get the cows going right away, so we're going to have to buy some cows. Um, they're not as cheap as chickens, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do. What is that? No, just a flower. I don't know if there are collectibles on this map or not. No idea. Maybe we'll find out. It's more fun when it's a surprise. Um, sorry, as I was saying, yeah, so the cattle, um, we definitely want to get that going, but I think we also need a big harvester. So that's going to be an expense that we're going to have to deal with. Come on. And perhaps a better tractor. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, oh. I really missed it here, didn't I? If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the uh, chicken pens that actually has a very small trigger. Very tight in here. Try again. Feel like maybe we might need a smaller. There we go. Oh no. Ooh, that took all of it. Let's see how big that is. Okay. Oh, wow. It can take quite a bit. All right. We got work to do. Good thing is we have three wheat fields and uh, they can all be used. Yeah, for this series, we will run. I have to get used to driving in cab with all the trees and walls and bushes and whatnot. It'd be hard to see where I'm going. Um, yeah, in this series, we're going to run probably 30 minute episodes. Uh, which is mostly, you know, what I try to do for most series, but um, we're not going to try to stretch it out. We're not going to try to make it short, so we'll see. You know, the initial 
the initial push is to get enough uh, food and everything we need to start getting animals. There's no point getting animals until we're, re we're actually ready for them. Um, we don't want them getting sick or starving. So we're going to get... We got lots of straw here. That's a big step. And then we will get out there. Um, probably in the next episode, we'll be mowing up all of our grass fields. Some will go to hay and some of it will go to silage. Uh, we've got a nice place to store all the bales. So we're going to go pure bales. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I may sell this harvester and lease. Uh, a bigger one but we'll see uh, financially in this series there's no limitations so it's entirely possible we'll be leasing it's entirely possible we will actually take loans uh, we'll have to see uh, it's already a big farm to manage so I don't see us buying uh, a lot more fields anytime soon um, but we could we could um, we'll do some contracts for sure, and um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll get our cow game going. Coming in a little too close. I probably should adjust that out a bit. All right, let's finish this up ourselves. We'll have to get wind growing. As an introductory episode, uh, we won't get a lot done today uh, in this one. Um, but I'm glad we can get one field taken care of. Finding the uh, coloring on this map to be very, uh, I don't want to say bright, I want to say uh, overexposed a little bit. Seems like it. It might just be the way the map is. Uh, usually it's darker. A lot of light. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Okay. So, uh, off we go. I kind of feel, and I might regret this, but I kind of feel like I don't need that header trailer with this, with this harvester. So let's see. It's pretty tight. The roads are tight. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tight. Okay, I got a question. I think uh, several of my subscribers and people who watch my videos are um, people from the UK. Um, what is... Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Um, I love the look and feel of the stone... Um, fences I guess um, the bushes the field separators it looks absolutely beautiful um, I do find it challenging I guess um, you know from an efficiency perspective of, of field work and getting stuff done so my question would be why why does the UK do that so much um, if I was a farmer I would want... Oh, what am I thinking? Well, that's not where I'm going to go. Um, I would want my, you know, work to be as easy as possible, I guess. Where am I going? I'm so not used to this. Um, so is there a particular reason? Is it a predator control thing? Is it a, a, a land separator thing? Because there's issues with, um, you know... 
I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not knocking it at all. I'm just, uh, I'm just curious. I, I'd like to know. Um, let's leave this here because we're going to have to get out to those fields soon. So it's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. And that might just be the answer because it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, anyways, if anybody knows, let me know. Okay. Let's get this back. I think we'll give it to all of the chickens right away. And then we're going to call that officially our first episode. Uh, we will be publishing this on Thursdays to start with. It's going to be one day a week. As soon as Bloomfield series is completely finished, uh, we will move this series to two days a week. And... Yeah, it should be good. We're going to have, you know, right now it's uh, it's on a schedule for six days, I guess, out of seven that I publish usually. Uh, right now, I think it's five right now, but um, I've been getting into the habit of six being the target. So, we'll see. Now, this backup, I almost feel like I, I want a special... Um, trailer configuration just to get this food in here. Okay. Alright guys, if you're as excited about this series as I am, um, and you're enjoying this, you're getting some enjoyment out of it, please consider subscribing. From Maple Farm, I hope you have a great day.